Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered release new update for November 2024. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered just got its latest update on PS5 in patch 1.06, and Guerrilla Games and Nixes has published the full patch notes so that players can check out what's changing and improving in this latest update. The November 2024 update for Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered provides bug fixes and technical improvements. As is the case with most patches, the big things are just bug fixes, and that's the core of Update 1.06. Improved level of detail when viewing settlements from very far away. Fixed various minor visual issues throughout the game. Removed neck seams that were visible on some characters. Turkeys are now displayed with the correct level of detail at close and far range. Fixed a bug that caused floating climbing points to appear in Devil's Thirst. Stability improvements. Sales of the remastered version have struggled to match those of the original. With multiple issues impacting the game's PC port, Nix's software promises to keep refining the game going forward. Even more fans are likely to be drawn to Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered now that LEGO Horizon Adventures is out in the wild, so maybe it can bounce back from its current lack of sales and interest. Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered Update 1.2 Patch Notes Improvements related to Steam input to address a loss of controller functionality under certain conditions. Audio improvements in pre-rendered cutscenes to address volume and multi-channel output issues. Improved level of detail when viewing settlements from very far away. You can now charge your bow while performing a dodge roll. Fixed various minor visual issues throughout the game. Removed neck seams that were visible on some characters. Turkeys are now displayed with the correct level of detail at close and far range. Fixed a bug that caused floating climbing points to appear in Devil's Thirst. Resolved visual issues with face paint on characters when using the medium graphics preset or lower. Mouse camera movement in photo mode is no longer interrupted on multi-monitor setups. Minor bug fixes in widescreen cinematics. Various user interface bug fixes and improvements. Performance improvements.